Now that we've added the Vim object inside our book, we're just going to prompt the user that, yes, we've added it successfully. So system.out.println you have added file.getName plus to book <coughs> plus book title plus a new line again control shift F sorry if you're not gonna sorry if you can't see that I always forget then control shift F there we go and we're done with this method or I should say script or whatever you want to call it we're done with the add vim again once that's done it's just gonna break and then it's gonna go up here again and then do the whole thing over again now that we're done with uh, case number four let's actually do case number five which uh, lets the user load and export the VIS file from the book from the book that contains the file and then play it so let's do that I'm gonna add a uh, another method I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it open uh, load open and import no export load open and export and just uh, be and I'm just gonna save I'm just I'm just gonna set this to uh, I'm just gonna change the name of this advim method that we created to um, hmm should be uh, open no oh, import open and save so we're just gonna copy this and then paste this and then we need Java I mean Eclipse to create this method for us so go ahead and do that there we go and this is this method is good is gonna be a lot shorter and a lot simpler than our previous than this method over here so without further ado let's get started man my voice is really cracking up I've been doing this tutorial for about almost an hour now and one or two more tutorials on the next tutorial uh, on the next video I'm gonna be demonstrating this uh, the program that we created so that you guys can get an idea on how it works but for now let's try and finish this as quickly as possible again we're gonna declare some uh, some objects that we're gonna be using in this load and export method so we need a uh, a this name uh, sorry vim name we're gonna set that to null for now we need a uh, book title set that to null we need a book call it book we need a VIS I mean VIM call it vim set that to null for now and we also need the byte array I call it data and we're going to set that null for now first our user needs to enter the book to open the book that contains the uh, the music files so system dot out dot print Um, print line 
<clears throat> Enter book title. And we're just going to set book title equal to uh, the user input. 